Our first destination was Saipur, where we walked through Shan villages and took a boat ride along the Dok Thawadi River. We began in Yangon and flew north to Lashio in the Shan province. We then took a taxi to Saipur. We began at Yangon's modern domestic terminal and in no time we were in Lashio, where we had to clear internal customs and collect our baggage in a novel way. Our taxi was soon speeding through town and into the countryside. The road was busy with traffic going to and from China, but our driver didn't let that hold him up. Blind hill brows and oncoming traffic didn't deter him. His driving style was terrifying at times, as he weaved between the heavy lorries, causing a motorcyclist to leave the road at one point. We were relieved to cross the river and safely enter Saipur. Uh, my name is Nini. Here's our guide, Nini. I'm a guy from Mr. Chow. And our hotel. That's our room. After setting in, we took a walk through town before relaxing at the hotel for the evening. The next day's itinerary was a walk through the local Shan villages, a boat trip up the Doktwadi River, a swim stop at the river confluence, a visit to another village on the way back, and finally, a tuk-tuk taxi to our hotel. We set off early and headed out of town with Nini. Workers were already busy in the fields. Ahead is the first Shan village we visited. The Spirit House. More workers. The next village. A village with a big market. Because of in around this area, a uh, long, long time ago, there was a big market. That the owner of the big market is uh, our Shan King. Village life is centered on agriculture. Each village has a, a monastery and a spirit house. <laughs> the children were fascinated by their video images <laughs> and by us, the strange white tourists. <laughs> we followed the road along the river to the next village, another spirit house. Just beyond this village, we met our boat. We were soon aboard and heading upstream towards Saipur. Water buffalo. And this is our boatman. Another village. The bridge at Saipur. The temperature was a, a pleasant mid-twenties, but Nini was feeling the cold. We passed through Saipur. A washerwoman. And into the countryside beyond. A traditional boat. It was a pleasant trip along the tree-lined route. We travelled as far as the river confluence. The Lashio to Mandalay Railway crosses here. After we landed, Nini led us to the rail bridge. He and Dawn started crossing, so I followed. The rotten planks didn't inspire confidence. Next, we cross this waterfall. The rocks were smooth but slippery. It 
It's only after we'd crossed that Nini told us that we were the first tourists he'd taken over the rail bridge and waterfall. Here's where we crossed over. This path led us to the rapids on the other river bridge. Next it was time for a swim, but the water buffalo didn't like being disturbed. It was noodle soup and green tea salad for lunch. Time for the return journey. The boatman picked us up and we were soon underway. After about 40 minutes, we stopped at the village Sun Long, the monastery. Many of the villagers were away as migrant workers in China. A traditional baby hammock. The railway station. The main Lashio Mandalayne line runs along the main street of the village. The shallows were lively. More water buffalo. end of our boat trip and the start of our Tuk Tuk taxi ride. Here we are back at our hotel at the end of a splendid day.